Hi Internet, my name is Laura and I have something I want to tell you. My imagination can be both my best friend and my worst enemy. I can imagine a story in such amazing and vivid detail and create these videos that come right off the top of my head but when it comes to something that could possibly happen, it's not exactly my friend anymore. It thinks of every possible scenario, the good and the very, 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 very horribly, torrentially bad. An opportunity has come up for me, which if I get to go, would be amazing. But if I don't, then my imagination's gonna go crazy and start thinking about all the reasons they didn't choose me. Despite the fact that it's probably that there are a limited number of spots and I could have been very close to being chosen but I just wasn't or I didn't meet the right criteria or something or something. The same thing happens every time I try to do something. Every time I put myself out of my comfort zone and try to do something, it doesn't happen. Every play in high school, I went out for the lead and... You know what? The same thing always happened. The girl who's been doing it since you were 14 always gets the lead and they never gave it to me despite the fact that I could do everything that girl could do. Didn't make sense. Though the world doesn't make sense, but my imagination just doesn't want to deal with that. It wants to have me think of every possible reason why they wouldn't like me or why you guys wouldn't like me. My imagination is primarily, and I don't like saying this, but is primarily fueled by my insecurities. My imagination or that little voice in the back of my head just going, what are you even doing on YouTube? Everyone else is just so much better than you. What's the point? You're never gonna get anywhere. No one's ever gonna like you. You're just worthless. So why are you even trying? Your friends are just lying to you. They don't want to hurt your feelings. Those voices continually going off in the back of my head not gonna lie, it takes a real toll on your self-esteem to try and rebuff them over and over again when they're always there. Every time I upload a video and it doesn't do as well as I hoped it would. It's something that I struggle with every day. And before any of you think I'm just over-exaggerating, I'm not! This is who I am! I am this overly excitable person who has this gigantic personality and no idea what to do with it. It is horrifying to find that you do not like yourself and yet you somehow think you can impress other people. My brain is a horrible, horrible person because it is its own person, because it's separate from me, because these doubts and insecurities, they're not me. I'm ever the optimist. Then these things come over me and I keep thinking, yeah, you're not good enough. What the hell are you doing here? You're not worthy of YouTube. But I shouldn't be thinking of that because anyone is worthy of YouTube. And I am starting to think, or at least I have thought recently that I am not worthy of being on the amazing platform that is YouTube and being here in the capacity that I am is frightening thinking that you're not worth what you want to do. I feel like an imposter and this is actually um this is actually a condition feeling like you don't deserve what you have and I've consistently thought that of myself every time I write an essay every time I sit down to write I think nah this is complete and utter not nah, not good it's not good no one's gonna want to read this. But it turns out when I get back that essay or that story from the teacher who's grading it, it's like, it was fantastic! It was amazing and it was awesome and it was all these awesome things that I didn't think it was. I don't have a high opinion of myself. I never have. I've never gone to myself, yep, that's what I'm gonna do with the rest of my life and nothing's gonna stand in my way. I've always had a backup plan. I know that with YouTube I'm gonna have to have a job, but I, I want this to work. I want this to work with you guys. I love you. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. Sorry. <laughs> Premature I love you. Sorry. I promise that I'm going to be working harder on my videos from now on. I really want to give this a go. I never thought that in four months, that's how long I've been doing this, four months, that I would have 91 people who thought it was worth to click that subscribe button. And I hope that in the future that you will help me become a better me. Bye. Game. You literally have to
mind right now. Oh. This is an awkward ending, wasn't it? I'm sorry.